Well, thanks for the uh, time and uh, the opportunity here. It's uh, really uh, pleased to announce that we've got a Lions Club in uh, Bridgeville uh, serving the communities actually of Collier, Heidelberg, and Talfea. Uh, we have 20, really got to discount 27 members uh, that have signed up, and that's really fabulous for Lions Clubs. Uh, it's, uh, it's been a struggle, but not here. There's an awful lot of people who are willing to give their time to help those who are in need. So uh, I'm inviting everybody <laughs> to pay <laughs> and come to our charter night, uh, which is January 12th. I've got information here. Uh, and it's a Thursday. It's the Alpine Hunting and Fishing Club. Uh, and uh, it's 29 bucks. Uh, but uh, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have some speakers. Uh, we're going to be giving away, giving out some of our money. Uh, the, the downtown club uh, gave money to the Bridgeville Club. And uh, uh, we're going to be starting off uh, to, uh, to help out with the police force. Uh, defibrillators, I understand you've got a need for some for the cars. Uh, we don't know if it's two or three or whatever, but we've got some money. We can buy them and, and make sure they're compatible with the paddles that I understand that you you can get. So we're going to be on January 12th. We can get a few of you to show up there. Uh, we're going to be giving you defibrillators. We'll find out how many you really need for your cars. We'll see what we can do. They're not cheap, but uh, thank heavens we've got some money right now that we can do that. Uh, do you have somebody picked up for that? What's that? Do you have somebody you're working with on purchasing it? No, we're, well, so we're actually working right here with two of our members uh, uh, here. Yeah. What was it? Oh, okay. Sounds like more like two. <laughs> but we'll get it started. Yeah. Well, I was just talking with Dan, and he said that they're actually going with Phillips. And they're running about $1,100. Roughly. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah. That's just kind of what he can think of as of uh, now, not to say that that's concrete. No, I was just giving you an avenue, and I didn't think of the answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, carbon monoxide uh, detectors, I understand you give those out to people who are in need. We'll find out what would be a good supply for you to get you going. We'll uh, take care of those for you too. Thank you. So uh, we're, we're here to help whoever needs. We're going to be working with uh, a group called 412 Food Rescue to get food to the needy in this area. We just need to find out who they are. Uh, one of our members, uh, Chuck Blodell. Uh, has been working uh, with the uh, Veterans of Foreign Wars uh, and he's been doing that himself. So we're going to be able to pull together two or three charities and uh, both help people with furniture uh, and with other goods uh, to help them uh, wherever they need it. So uh, there are contacts right here. I've got information about, about the, the uh, event coming up on the 12th. We're also going to be calling on all the businesses in the area. Armstrong. We had. <laughs> we'll be over, uh, and we're asking people to put some ads in our program, or to do, buy in the sponsorships, or donate some things that people can bid for, uh, because we're going to make that night a, a big uh, charity uh, fundraising night, uh, so that we can help a lot more people uh, as we go along. So uh, we're looking for members, always looking for members. So hope some of you can find some time to uh, to, to join us. Uh, because the more that we've got, people don't have time to, to give tons of their time. But if we can get 40 or 50 members in this club, and that's not outrageous for where I'm seeing, uh, we can get people who can volunteer their time as they can, and we can serve more things. We'll be part of the community days, we'll be part of helping the historical society. Uh, we want to do everything that we can for the community. Just need to know what that is. Anybody got any questions before I leave some information behind? Okay, uh, I'm going to have this right over there on the table where you want to keep it. I'm going to keep some of these things right here uh, and some, some announcements. I'm going to leave that with you. And uh, we also have uh, anybody who wants to be a member, I've got uh, some of my business cards I'm going to leave here. So uh, if you want to contact me for more information, uh, we've got some of those as well. So, thank you all. Oh, Thank you, Dan. Yeah. Okay. That's
That's good. Thank you. Thank you.